Hey guys, it's me Zyro back again with the third part of ransomware development series in Python. So if you guys watched last two parts of the series, you might have got understanding of how we can encrypt or decrypt files with all types of extensions recursively. And in case you guys don't know about that, I request you to watch the part one and part two primarily and then follow on with this part. And if you guys already did watch that, then we are good to move forward. So in this part, that is part three, we'll be taking a look on how to send the uh, key to the attacker without storing it on the 50 machine. Also later on we will add some exceptions to avoid errors such as invalid decryption key. So yeah before starting as usual to all the YouTube ethics if you like my content and want more content just like this in future also join my discord server link is mentioned in the description. So without any more delay let's dive into the video. So we'll start with importing some required modules. This code is used to retrieve the current IP address of the computer and will store in the variable called IP. I will comment the below code for now. After this, as we will be receiving the encryption key with victim PC info to our Discord server channel, so we will need the webhook URL. To get the webhook URL, you have to follow the following steps. Firstly, I'll make a variable to store the webhook URL. Here I have already created a test server, so I will just create another channel with the name keys. After that, let's go to the channel settings, integrations, and let's create a webhook. Here you see the spidey bot name, I'll just copy the webhook URL and later on you can change the bot name too. Now I will also get the MAC address of the team machine and to do that I will use a module called get underscore MAC. Now to make the webhook message look good we will use discord embeds which is optional and not necessary to use though I will provide the embed code in the description. Now here I already created an embed prior to the recording. Uh, so I will just copy and paste it if you want to make your own you can just use online discord embed creators if you search for it you will there are many of those as you can see in the embed I use random.randint to get random color hex and get host name from socket to get the current pc name so I'll just import these um, modules that is socket and uh, random here I'm going to send the key IP address and MAC address of the team pc if you want to send even more data, you can add more fields to them. Finally, we will post all the data to the webhook URL. As the data is in dictionary format, we need to use JSON to load it. For that, I will import JSON module. Here our final code is ready, now let's run the code to see if I am getting the embed to my discord channel. As you can see uh, there is nothing in this channel so I will just run the code now. As you can see we got the encryption key which is created also the IP, MAC address and name of the victim computer. If you want you can add some more info to it by adding the respective code and adding the result to the embed. And here you see as I ran the code second time the embed color actually changed. Now let's add some exceptions to the decryptor for invalid decryption key. Here are the contents of uh, creds folder which we are gonna encrypt in this tutorial. Here we encrypted the content of creds folder and got the key. Now I will edit the key and will try to decrypt the encrypted content. Next. 
as you can see it gives invalid token error and all the files are still encrypted now let's add the exceptions firstly we'll import invalid token from cryptography.fernet And this will execute the code under exception if the key is wrong. Here I added exception only on one place where if the key is wrong it handles the error rather than throwing bunch of error text. There are more places where you can add exceptions to avoid different types of logic error. Now let's see how we can compile both encryptor and decryptor. So here's the test target file on which I'll be performing encryption and decryption after the compilation of the encrypt and decryptor files. Now both the files are compiled, let's run the encryptor file. As you can see the content of this file is encrypted, let's run the exe and yeah, it's encrypted too. And there we go, we got an encryption key, IP address and PC info embed. Perfect. So this was it in the ransomware development series and hope you guys got an understanding of how a ransomware works also this was very basic level you guys can add much more functions in the code and make the code more complex and make it do more tasks github repository link is mentioned in the description where i will add more code in the project as i will get up with ideas uh, this is where the simple ransomware development series using python ends make sure you give your feedback in the comment section also suggest the topics for the video you want me to make tutorials on till then thanks for watching catch you guys in the next video peace out